good people welcome and welcome back to the channel i'm amira this is monocopes soul healing i did not intend on doing this reading or recording at all but i'm sitting on my couch trying to mind my business and spirit's like you need to go record <laughs> I was stubborn for a little while, but here I am. This is going to be a full moon reading, okay, for all signs. Timestamps will be down below in the description box. We're going to look specifically at what is being illuminated for you during the time of the full moon. Now, a lot of you may know the full moon is not just on that day, uh, which is different depending upon where you are in the world to begin with. Um, some people differ in their beliefs as to how far prior to the full moon, how far past the full moon, um, you know, these things will occur or change or be illuminated for us. Um, so just keep that in mind as we go through the energies. For some of you, this could be things that you have already seen or that you're already aware of. And there may be some things that we tap into that you have no idea and don't make any goddamn sense. Okay, but don't write it off totally because, again, the energy is fluid, timing is fluid, and it's not just about today, yesterday, or tomorrow, okay? I do want to start with the sound bowl, and then I'm going to stop yapping. And, um, yeah, we're going to get into it, okay? See what's being illuminated for Aries please, during this full moon. What do you have for Aries? No, it's not the Hierophant, but I'm seeing the Hierophant in my head. There's something that you're committing yourselves to, okay, during this time. Maybe thinking a lot about, about a commitment that you've already made or... Um, again, thinking about what you want to commit yourself to. It's being illuminated here for Aries. Perhaps that is the illumination. Okay. Clarity on what you want to do moving forward in a situation. I just feel like you're going to, you're, you're, you're assessing your commitments. Okay. Okay. She wants to come out. <laughs> we have the queen of swords. So you guys are in a position of, of thinking a lot, okay? Thinking a lot, trying to make um, the best decision. This is Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but this is someone who's trying to do the right thing, trying to be in the right mind state in particular. Maybe you have other influences, okay, that you want to push to the side or because the Queen of Swords is somebody who is focused on her truth and she acts on it. She speaks her truth. She speaks her mind. Um, she's not really concerned about how she feels or even if she is, it's not a big component of the decision that's being made. But this is someone who's getting ready to make a decision. It's like searching within. Right now I'm searching within, trying to figure out how I feel, trying to figure out, you know, search through the facts, trying to figure out um, what happened in the past versus what happened in the future. You know, what, what happens if I go down this particular path or that particular path? So right now I do feel like there is, I mean, there is some kind of awakening here because the Queen of Swords holds the Ace of Swords. She's holding that truth. She's holding that victory. She's holding the decision in her hands, but still thinking it through. Some of you may be delaying this, okay? You may definitely be delaying this. Maybe you've been thinking a long time, thinking about stability. Yeah, there's that um, judgment card. Okay, 
So you, I feel like you're thinking about making some kind of life changing decision. For a lot of you, it's going to affect your stability or your status. Your status, generally speaking, and again, um, that status. I can't really show the cards with the camera this low, but that status, Aries. Um, that could be your financial status or your marital status, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Definitely something that you really, really want, okay? But you're just thinking about it in a space of thinking about it. What else is here for Aries? Give me two more. What else is here? What's being illuminated at this time? I feel like you're just trying to make the right decision right now it's like a time of deliberation okay it's a time of deliberation i just want to do the right thing take my feelings out of it maybe you've been hurt or there's a fear of being hurt i mean the queen of swords is typically someone who is single divorced you know and and she's been hurt over and over again and, and that's a part of why she sets her feelings to the side or she attempts to i feel like it's difficult though okay you have the ace of cups showing up here this is a new love offer Okay, some of you may be thinking, I wanted to say the next seven days, okay? So, I mean, I guess that's your time frame here for you. I, I, I don't know that that's for everybody once again. Um, but the Ace of Cups is a new love offer. This is this is um, a new opportunity for healing. It's a blessing, um, I wanted to say, in disguise. I feel like it's hard to see this because maybe you've been hurt or because there are, again, I feel like there's a, a lot of people involved or a lot of factors involved wanting to make the best decision, wanting to do the, the honorable right thing yeah here's the three of swords right here but the ace of cups is a new i mean it's a new beginning in love whether it be to reconcile with someone okay someone maybe from your past or someone who has hurt you or um even family right the Ace of Cups is a healing kind of love. It, it, it brings us to a place where our intuition is overflowing. And this is a part of the struggle because I do believe that there are a lot of feelings involved in this decision. And it's like, I'm, I, I need to put them to the side and focus on the facts. I need to put them to the side. But the feelings are clearly taking over when the Queen of Swords is showing up. You know, she holds that sort of truth, but the queens are all about internal as opposed to the king. You're not quite sitting in that king of swords energy where you're ready to make a decision, focus purely on logic and move forward with said decision. You know, the queen of swords has that power. She has the knowledge. She has the intellect. She has the experience. She's very wise, but she has to purposely put her feelings to the side in order to make a decision. I feel like this is the place where you guys are. One more, please, for Aries. What else is going on? I mean, even in this picture of the Ace of Cups, there's so much water. The Ace of Cups um, is an overflow of, in, in, I want to say, information. So that's interesting. Some of you may definitely be thinking through your feelings, okay, at this time. But it's an overflow of emotion. It's an overflow of the intuition. It is. It's a lot. So there's a lot to think about here. One more, please, for Aries. What's, what's being illuminated for them at this time? During the full moon, two of swords, yeah. Trying to block the feelings. I mean, we poured it all out here, Aries. So I think that during this time of the full moon, you guys have a decision to make, right? I think that there's a lot of fear involved. I think that there's a lot of um, intuitive messages that you're receiving. I think that there's a lot of emotion that's involved in this. And you're really, really, really trying hard to do the logical um, thing, okay? I do feel like there's someone or something else that is depending on you in this situation. That's just what I'm feeling intuitively. I think that there's a need to face your fears. I feel like there's a need to face the facts. That's what you're trying to do, trying to. Um, focus on what is right in front of you, but it's hard to not allow the emotions to take over. This is kind of the struggle that is being presented to you. I do feel like for a lot of you, what is literally being presented to you is this Ace of Cups, okay? For others of you, it's the Ace of Swords, and it's literally like a battle between what I, what I know I need to do and what I feel I need to do, okay? That's what's showing up for Aries. Taurus. 
what's up, Taurus? Let's see what's being illuminated for you during this full moon for Taurus. What's being illuminated for Taurus, please? Taurus, somebody feels left out. <laughs> Like heavy Leo energy that's how they're coming through it could be a child for some of you maybe it's literally a child who um, needs your attention at this time they may be um, I don't know why I want to say exploring okay maybe they're exploring new ways of getting your attention um, also wanted to say this weekend yeah look at this okay we have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of you, this may be your child, um, but here's this Leo energy, okay? Somebody wants your attention here, Taurus. They feel like your back is to them, quite literally, okay? And especially this Queen of Cups energy coming out, I feel like this is your energy here. Whether you are a mother or, um, you know, someone who is typically very sensitive, intuitive, caring, nurturing, loving, expressive, um, you know, someone who acts on their feelings, acts on their emotions and expresses them in a healthy way. Someone who is healed, someone who always has kind and nice words to say, who's very comforting to be around. It's like someone wants to be in your energy, be in that energy. But I feel you as having your back toward this person. Again, whether this is a child or just someone who I, I feel like, you know, if they're not a Leo, that's just the energy that was coming through. It could be that they are. But I feel like this is someone who maybe they're used to getting that type of attention, okay? Maybe they're used to getting that type of attention or they just want some kind of fun with you. I don't know what that means, <laughs> okay? But the Six of Wands is someone who's used to getting attention. It's someone who feels like, you know, I beat, the, I beat out the competition. I deserve this attention. This is somebody who is maybe in a leadership position or they've been through a lot in life or with you. I don't know who this is, Taurus, but they feel like they deserve your attention and they're not getting it from you okay you know this person may be going all out and being a little extra okay to try to receive this attention from you it's interesting because the question is what's being illuminated i mean i feel like you don't see them at all Okay, quite literally is what I want to say. I feel like you don't see them at all. The Six of Wands is um, a victor. It's someone who has a lot of attention. Uh, this could be someone who is in, has some sort of fame, okay? Maybe they have a lot of followers on social media. Maybe they're on YouTube, Instagram, and all the other platforms, and they, they get a lot, a lot of attention from, um, from women in particular is what I want to say, okay, with you showing up in this feminine energy. I mean, the Queen of Cups is, is, is a very very feminine energy um it does not have to be the case but n nonetheless okay this may be someone who typically gets a lot of um attention i feel like you're not giving it to them okay i feel like it's like they feel like you're you're giving them crumbs okay if you are giving them anything whoever this is let's get one more please for taurus what else is going on? What's being illuminated for my Taurus? That's way too much, but it like really wants to come out, okay? We have the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords, yeah. Whoever this person is, Taurus, it's so crazy the way that they're coming through because they, in their mind, okay, their perception, don't get upset with me, their perception is I'm doing backflips for Taurus, okay? I'm screaming at the rooftops. I have I have set my flag on fire. Like, why doesn't Taurus see me, okay? I have, you know, so much to offer Taurus. I, I'm stable. I'm secure. I have a great job. You know, maybe this is somebody who's literally in the military or um, someone who feels like they should, you know, like, like they are a good suitor for you, a good match for you in some way, shape, or form, okay? For some of you, this could also be a family member, okay? I did say that, okay? It could be a child. Anyway, um, you, they are seeing you in this Queen of Swords energy, which is someone who is cold, dismissive, and, and like literally quite literally the opposite of the queen of cups 
Okay, the queen of and, and look, you see how they're both in looking in different directions. Like these two people are not the same. All right, but I feel like you guys are. I don't know if you're minding your own business. Maybe you're purposely ignoring this person. What, whatever the case may be, they're seeing you as somebody who is maybe healing or um, purposely holding back from them. That's how they are seeing you. It's crazy. They feel like. I'm over here making all this noise and Taurus doesn't hear me. All right. Whoever this, this may also be someone who feels unappreciated. Yeah, look at this five of cups here at the bottom of the deck. I just got that though, okay. This person feels um, unappreciated for some of you for their efforts or for their loyalty. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of loyalty here, okay. That's what's showing up for Taurus. <laughs> Very interesting. Gemini. What's going on, my beautiful Gemini people? Let's see what's being illuminated for you during the time of this full moon. Thank you guys so much for being here. We have the star card that just flew out. What's being illuminated for my Geminis, please? What's here for Gemini? <laughs> I just heard I forfeit. Okay. I feel like somebody's looking for something and they're tired of looking for it. I don't know what that means. Let's see. What's here for Gemini, please? Somebody's been looking really hard, really deep, maybe doing research or asking questions all three eight of wands high priestess and the four of wands there's that star card energy at the bottom of the deck you may be dealing with an aquarius or a pisces um some of you this is like trying to figure out who am i what do i want what direction should i go in all right I feel like that's a very small few of you, or um, even if that is all of you, it's not like the main thing that you're doing in life right now or what will be illuminated. I do feel like there are a lot of um, intuitive messages or um, spirit. There's a lot of spiritual guidance here, okay? During the time of the full moon, especially if you guys are praying for something in particular or somebody has been praying for something on the other end. There's a lot of like, you know, whip it all together magician kind of energy here, which I feel like is nearby. I'm not going to look for it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of that coming in. OK, but I do. Like I said, if somebody's been looking for something, OK, with the high priestess which the high priestess is someone who is very um i wanted to call her intelligent which she is that's not typically a um her mode <laughs> it's not typically her mode um but that's what i want to say about her a lot of you during this time may find yourselves um speaking differently this message is coming out really strange like i, I like I, I literally like feel like i'm just channeling shit at this point <laughs> um as i sit here in your energy like it's like you know i don't mean to say those things but this is how it's coming out or and i guess that's why you're coming off as intelligent or people are seeing you this way or you just feel like you know these thoughts feelings um and my my um my inner knowing or my desire to go in a particular direction it's like it's coming out of nowhere because i just i don't know just like out of nowhere this is what i feel um i feel like if you guys do find yourself in this space that's you need to continue down that particular path because it's going to ultimately lead you to what it is that you want um what else is here because I feel like at the beginning of this message, when I was picking up on someone who's been searching for something, um, okay, yeah, they, they just reminded me that that was a small few of you, or like I said at the beginning, even if that is a thing, it's very, um, very small compared to the power that's within this message, okay? Okay. 
A lot of you may be thinking about your relationship at this time as far as what direction um, it's going in um, and trying to figure out how to get to the next place or um, that kind of thing. I just feel like you're seeking out a lot of spiritual direction at this time. And if you're not, then you need to be because it's here for you. All right. I don't have anything else for you, my loves. That's for Gemini. Cancer. Happy birthday, Cancer. Let's see what's being illuminated for my Cancerians during this full moon in their opposite energy. <laughs> oh, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Let's hear for Cancer, please. What's here for Cancer? The Magician. Okay. So the Magician is a card of self. This is someone... Okay, let's say stop shuffling. This is someone who um, works to gather the necessary resources, whether internal or external, to actualize a plan, okay? This is an energy of creating something. There's also something about collaboration. The magician is someone who is extremely skilled. I don't know if you guys are learning a new skill from someone else or applying your skill in a new way so that you can be successful, but this is someone who's willing to do any and everything um, within their power, to be successful. I feel like you guys are limiting yourselves though. Yeah, four of pentacles. Because as soon as I said within your power, it was like, wait, what? No. <laughs> if Because, you know, when we were four, I don't know why I'm going there, but this is where I'm going. When we were four, we felt like we had a certain amount of power. And it's like, when you are at that place in life or when you are at that age in life, it's difficult to conceptualize anything more than that, right? But the magician is an energy of someone who pushes past that, thinks deeper than that, and figures it out because it's what they want, okay? So this is sort of the energy that is perhaps being revealed to you. This is also self-awareness. This is someone who's becoming aware of a particular skill or maybe a new avenue, okay to go down so that they can be successful yeah because here's this ace of swords let me look at this for a second i just feel like you guys are trying to figure out um also how to get out of your own way right figuring out how to think outside of the box in a particular situation Because maybe you've been in a place where you've been holding yourself back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like this. What else is here? This is Gemini. In um, interesting. Almost said answer. Okay. <laughs> Daily double. What? No. What else is here for my Cancerians, please? <laughs> Somebody watching Jeopardy? Is somebody watching Jeopardy? What go, what is that about? Yeah. Well, but that's just it, okay? It's like you have to figure out what's being revealed to you. You know, maybe taking the clues that you have or the knowledge that there's also something about taking a risk. Okay. Taking the clues that you have, the knowledge that you currently have, taking some sort of risk. Maybe that risk is applying those skills to something else to build something bigger. Judgment. So the judgment card is, um, a life-changing decision. This is definitely self-awareness. You go all the way from the magician to the judgment card. This is huge, Cancer. This is huge. This is Scorpio energy. You guys are definitely evolving, okay, during this full moon. And I feel like there's a significant, like, wake-up call that you're receiving. I also feel like this wake-up call is telling you to go do something hard, okay? 
It's telling you to like jump in the, I don't know, maybe telling you to take the more difficult path, but the judgment card, it speaks to having a certain level of awareness, you know, have, it's like I examine the facts. I, I, I already know what I need to do. I know what is the best path to take. And so I'm ready to just let go of this burden that I've been carrying, make the decision to move toward that thing because you feel like you are called toward it. That's how profound this awakening is for you at this time yeah five of wands it's like i know i need to go do that difficult thing because that's how i get to the point where i am successful where i have um achieved the thing that i want not only have I achieved the thing that I want, but I also am getting recognition for it. For some of you, this could be a job. Maybe you're deciding to um, promote, deciding to compete for some promotion at work or deciding to go back to school and learn a new skill so that you have, um, you know, what it takes, right, to be considered. And then, and then like on the other side of that, the recognition for that. All right, let's get one more for you. One more for Cancer. What else is going on for them here? <laughs> I just heard sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, that's two of pentacles. It, it kept showing up um, throughout the deck here. You also have the emperor. This is Aries energy here, but this is someone who's bossing up. Yeah, some of you may definitely be getting a leadership position. I feel like you're trying to figure out how can I get to this place or what do I need to do or what do I need to do to impress the boss, right? It's that kind of information that's kind of coming to you um, during this time. But again, cancer, it has to do with you doing the hard thing in particular. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe it's a financial strain or it's gonna cause you to be a little bit overwhelmed i want to say this week okay um or it's going to take you figuring out how to adjust to something new you know because if when we work a full-time job and we go to school full-time that's a lot to do or when we are working full-time and we have a full-time business that's a lot to do but it's like I, ha I know i have to do the hard thing in order to be on top and be successful that's what's sort of being illuminated to you that specific path and maybe it's in this reading okay that's what i have for you guys leo what's up leo 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 I'm hearing Tina Turner. <laughs> Are we doing this right now? <laughs> Spirit's like, yeah, we're doing this right now. There's something on my mind. Won't somebody please, please tell me what's wrong? She just a fool. She thinks she's in love. That's not the words, but you get the drift, right? What you say? Hey, 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 hey. All right, it's not a concert. <laughs> What's being illuminated for Leo? Maybe you're feeling foolish at this time <laughs> for doing something, saying something, or acting on something that you really wanted. Yeah, you sure did, my dear. Knight of Wands, first card out. Now, the Knight of Wands is, um, I'm hearing romantic. I mean, he can be romantic, but that's not typically, <laughs> you know, how he presents himself. There's something you're really passionate about, okay? Yeah, it's kind of cups. Aw, Leo. <laughs> Happy home, family. Why am I hearing restaurant, okay? Something about a restaurant. Maybe you guys met in a restaurant or you want a restaurant. I don't know. Um, but the Knight of Wands, I mean, this is somebody who is bold, courageous, fierce. I want to be on top. I want to be seen. But maybe you're feeling embarrassed right now because you feel like you did too much or you didn't get the recognition that you thought you would get, okay? Or maybe it didn't work out or... You know, maybe this is what's going on in your mind, <laughs> right? Wanting really badly to be in this Knight of Wands energy, but perhaps fear is holding you back. <sighs> Leo. 
coming through like Tina Turner. Tina Turner is fierce, okay? She was. She went through a lot. And it was all because she wanted to be successful, which is like this magician energy that's right next to the Ten of Cups. Is somebody who will do any and everything to be successful. It's about gathering the necessary internal and external resources so that I can have what I want. It seems like what you want is this Ten of Cups. Um, but on the other side of that is you waiting. Waiting for what? I feel like you guys are going through a rough time right now. Maybe you feel like you're not ready. Yeah, you're going through some kind of transition period. A lot of you guys have your eyes on this empress that I see back here. <laughs> okay, or maybe wanting to be the empress. Let's see, what else is... Okay. <laughs> what is going on? <sighs> okay, another episode? No. There's the Knight of Cups. There he is. I told you, you're trying to be romantic or maybe you're thinking about doing something romantic, but here's this devil energy. And this is what I sort of was feeling and what can happen with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands, which is your energy. Um, a lot of times our ego can get in the way. Two things come into me. Um, the first thing or way that our ego can get in the way is that we are in this energy where maybe we're too pushy, too assertive, too cocky and sure of ourselves that we deserve something or are ready for something that we wind up pushing it away or we do things that we're, you know, <laughs> literally weird. Okay. All right. Um, we do things that we should not have done. The second way that our ego can get in our way in a situation such as this is um, not doing a damn thing because we're too afraid. And the devil energy represents both of those things. You know, you guys are going to have to be decisive and determine what it is for you. Maybe some of you are realizing where you um, have embarrassed yourselves in the past and wanting to turn a new leaf and kind of change or realizing... Um, you know, what you can do differently, essentially. There's something here that you really, really want, though. There's something on your mind. <laughs> Interesting. There's something on my mind. Won't somebody please tell me what's wrong? It's just a fool. You think you're in love, what you say? Some of you may be mad at somebody. There she is, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful empress. <laughs> Some of you may be mad at somebody. Maybe somebody told you that you were a fool or that you would be a fool for doing this thing or for thinking about this person. Maybe somebody told you that this empress is out of your league. I mean, I'll be honest, if you're showing up as a knight, she might be out of your league, okay? I just have to be real with you, you know? I still love you guys, but you know, the empress is, you know, she, she needs somebody who is an emperor, somebody who is bold, a fearless leader, somebody who is stable, secure, somebody who's grounded, somebody who's logical, methodical, someone who um, makes great decisions because they have gone through things, because they've had life experiences. This nine of swords here at the bottom of the deck, Leo, um, and the three of swords showing up. But this is you guys showing up as, um, again, I feel it on both sides, okay? I think that there's fear, there's apprehension, and there's there's also, I, 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 what I feel like is um, someone who possibly did or could make a fool of themselves because they are so nervous, because they are so fearful. You know, it's like, when you want something so badly, you walk in, in into the interview or into the restaurant. I don't know what this has to do with the restaurant. You guys let me know down in the comments. Um, and you walk up to the table and you, 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 you know, you're trying to exert this amount of confidence and then you wind up like tripping and falling because you're trying to be something that you are not. That's sort of what's coming to me, okay? <laughs> Very interesting message, but that's for my Leos. Good luck with that. 
Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. What's being illuminated for my Virgos at this time? Please, Spirit. Thank you guys so much for being here. What's being illuminated for Virgo, please? Something is proving to be really difficult. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. It's like, you, I don't know if you guys are, um, well, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if you guys are evasive. And then I just realized that, you know, you had a message or two recently that was talking about keeping something to yourself. So maybe somebody doesn't like that you're in that energy of not really expressing to them. Somebody's also surprised about something. Tree of Cups. Is this a surprise? Okay. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups is a celebration. It's a reunion. It's a party, a gathering. It's your friends, your family, your your kindred spirits, your your tribe. Um, but there's some kind of element of surprise. I don't know if there's a surprise gathering, surprise party. Could definitely be with this Four of Wands as a party as well. This could also be a commitment, engagement. It's like deepening the bond of a relationship, okay? Going from the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups, it's it's choosing someone in a deeper way, deciding to um, invite someone into your space. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like someone is, is upset or disappointed or what have you that they don't have you at this level, whatever that means, okay? I don't know if you've purposely shut this person out Hmm. What is this? What's going on here for Virgo? What's being illuminated for them at this time? Okay. A lot of emotions, okay? The Three of Cups is like quite literally the opposite of the Three of Swords, if you will. This could be healing a relationship, you know, someone who wants to heal. I mean, that's what I feel intuitively. Someone wants to heal a relationship with you. This could be someone from your past who wants to come back in or someone who is seeing you, like I said, as not as emotionally expressive. Maybe you're not available emotionally, okay? Or someone is feeling that way. Two of Wands is somebody who's at a crossroads, has a decision to make, wanting to take a new approach, thinking about taking a new approach. Mm. Hmm. I just heard something about looking in the mirror. Okay, looking in the mirror. Maybe someone is looking in the mirror and thinking about you or they want you to look in the mirror or maybe you're saying this to them. Something about looking in the mirror, child. I don't know. I just heard I'm going to sit out this round. Somebody feels like they have been forced to, like I said, like, like you're purposely not allowing them in on what you've got going on next. Okay. What you've got going on next, where you're going, what decision you're going to make. It's here for Virgo. What's going on here? What's the dealio? What's up with the what's up? There is some kind of like surprise element with this Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. I'm just gonna get one more card. What's up with this surprise element, please? What are you talking about here? I'm hearing WhatsApp. Okay. Page of Swords, yeah. Interesting. And I just said WhatsApp. Okay, listen, Linda. <laughs> 
if your name is Linda, you need to really listen. Um, this could definitely be somebody who you have disconnected from here, Virgo, who is wanting to come back into your life. And if literally they have you on WhatsApp, um, they could definitely be looking at old messages or thinking about how to contact you. They may be talking to your friends and family, trying to figure out where's Virgo, what's up, what are they doing, how can I get in contact with them? I do feel like this is, yeah, okay, Ten of Swords and the Lovers here. This is someone who is, this, whoever this is, wants to come back into your life, okay? I don't know why these people always have to show up, but, you know, they do. So here they are. Wow, the moon is trying to come out here at the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, there is some element of surprise that you're not aware of. So I want you guys to be aware, alert, especially with this Page of Swords, Three of Cups energy showing up. Like that is double. I'm talking about you. I'm thinking about you um, kind of energy. I don't see it as someone who's not totally trustworthy, but you never know. Okay, because only only you know your creepy exes and friends and people who want to be in your energy. <laughs> Okay, that's what I have for you. Libra. What's going on, Libra? Let's see what's being illuminated for you at this time during this full moon. I'm seeing um Aries energy in my brain space. <laughs> Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, or maybe you're seeing Aries energy in your brain space, in your brain space, um, with someone who you are disconnected from, okay? Maybe you're seeing them in your dreams. What's going on with Libra? Please, what's being illuminated for them at this time? Mm. Strength card little bit of Leo energy. Could be a fire sign, generally speaking. Here's some more fire. Five of Wands. Um, which is Leo energy. Okay, could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Anyway, the strength card, my dear Libra, is somebody who is courageous or trying to find the courage, trying to manage feelings and emotions so that they can take some kind of... Um, profound significant action or decide not to because the strength card is also about restraint okay it's all it's, it's about self-awareness patience acting with grace this could be the energy that you guys are in or someone significant in your environment and it's interesting because whoever this is whether it's you or another person they are definitely trying to manage okay with this five of wands energy here at the bottom of the deck this could be someone who is wanting to take some kind of action, but feeling as though they need to wait or uh, maybe they feel like they need to heal or they're, they're not doing the right thing. It's going to be the wrong decision. I definitely see them as very indecisive on an internal level. Okay. Huh. This person showing up as very um, practical or they're trying to take the logical route and like, you know, not let their feelings and emotions, golly, get in the way. Let me just show you guys. Let me just show you this, okay? I mean, why not, right? We have the emperor and the empress with the knight of cups in between, okay? Um... As we all know, I was about to say, as we both know, that's interesting. There's some kind of conversation that's, that's um, brewing here, okay? Yeah, okay, Three of Pentacles, Justice card. There's some kind of conversation that's brewing here, or maybe somebody is thinking about how to approach this conversation with you um, as to how you can both get on the same page, or maybe somebody's trying to manage their feelings, or you are. Somebody here is, right? trying to manage their feelings maybe they're trying to manage their fear i don't know let's see what's going on here for libra what's being illuminated during this full moon it's being illuminated for libra 
The stars are aligned. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability, security, financial security, home, family, commitment, loyalty, land. It's like long-term wealth and security. I don't have to worry about um, this stuff anymore. Whatever this stuff is. Whatever this stuff is. Whatever someone is trying to manage right now. You know, maybe there's a marriage, you know, with the emperor and the empress showing up. Whether there is one right now or there is not one yet, I feel like someone is thinking a lot about this, about um, how to overcome some kind of, I want to call it constant hurdle. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I mean, maybe the constant hurdle is someone who's afraid to make this life change. I mean, you have to be courageous. You have to be courageous in order to be successful. And the Ten of Pentacles is, in fact, success. And even, you know, following this strength card, we get to a place where we are wiser. But you have to go through this fear first in order to get there. Um, somebody's struggling. What else? Let's get one. Okay. Thank you. You say, and it comes out. Well, the Knight of Wands was there at the bottom of the deck, so he wanted to come flying out. Somebody wants to take some action here. I feel like they're wanting to do something spontaneous. These two cards are kind of opposing each other. You have the Ten of Pentacles in between. I feel like there's just a need for fearlessness. There's a need for courage. There's a need for somebody to do the courageous thing to... Um, I feel like there's a need to have some kind of conversation. Yeah, the Seven of Swords... Okay, there's either, either someone who is avoiding a conversation, confrontation, their feelings, or just hiding, generally speaking, wanting to run away from something here. Yeah, definitely avoiding feelings for sure. And I do, like I said, I feel like someone is struggling to um, have the self-discipline and restraint that's necessary in this situation, whatever that means, okay? Whatever that means. So Libra, this is what's being illuminated to you um, during the full moon, okay? Scorpio. I'm hearing balance, okay? Before I even said your name, not quite your name, but you know what I mean? <laughs> We're hearing balance, okay? So something about balance. We're talking about if you, um, you know, skipped through my intro where I was babbling and playing with sound bowls. Um, what's being illuminated for you during this full moon? I just heard my sister. Okay. What's here for Scorpio? Something about your sister or... Um, what's really weird, which isn't going to be for everybody, obviously, but I, I feel like, um, that was like somebody's sister who has passed on, okay? Or they're distant and communicate, trying to communicate or and get in touch with you intuitively. Okay. What's here for Scorpio, please? Maybe they're a Scorpio or, I don't know. Strange. What? I'm also hearing plantar fasciitis. I mean, I have to say these strange things because they're for somebody. <laughs> I know they sound strange. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Fully aware, okay? You have the Ten of Wands coming out here. Yeah, someone feels um, like there's a lot of responsibility. I feel like this is you. Yeah, the hangman. Somebody's making a lot of sacrifices. The hangman, the emperor, the eight of swords. Hmm. This could also be someone acknowledging that you are making a lot of sacrifices, that you have a lot of responsibilities. There's some kind of acknowledgement here is what I feel. Yeah, there's the High Priestess and the King of Swords. <sighs> you guys may be overwhelmed at this time or um, feeling like you have a lot. I don't know why I feel like I'm yelling. That's that was really weird. Usually I talk too low or speak too quietly, but all of a sudden I felt like I was yelling. Strange energy. Um, 
maybe you feel like there's a lot of noise at this time or you feel like you just want to find some peace and quiet especially with this hangman energy like that's someone who puts themselves in a place where there is quiet so that they can think and try to figure out what the hell I need to do to change my circumstances I do feel like you guys need that right now or at this time there is some kind of enlightenment that is coming in for you but I feel like you need to um somebody's sister is is like full-blown here also by the way okay yeah ten of cups um but I feel like you need to um, spend some time alone. That doesn't have to mean that you like, you know, leave your family and <laughs> go across the country, but maybe five minutes in the shower with the door shut and no kids coming in kind of thing, you know? Okay. What else is going on here for my Scorpios? I love it here. <laughs> what else is going on for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Um, a lot of you are specifically, there's something that you're doing with your hands or your, you know, maybe your, cause this can also be your health. Okay. There's something about your hands, um, that, you know, maybe arthritis. I don't know all the things. Maybe that's why I said plantar fasciitis. Okay. Your hands and your feet. I don't know. But I feel like that is specifically needing to be recognized or acknowledged. Maybe someone is having some kind of pains or troubles or aches and they're not going to the doctor about it. Maybe that's why your sister keeps yelling at you or somebody. I don't know, child. What else is being illuminated, please, for Scorpio? Do you want those? No. What else is being illuminated, please? Yeah, I feel like there's a need to like watch where you're going or um, that kind of thing. King of Swords. So you guys are gaining some kind of awareness, okay? Um, maybe for a lot of you, you're, you've been working really hard to figure out how, I just heard you can make ends meet. Yeah, Nine of Cups, okay? I think that you're working really hard so that you can feel this sense of freedom and pleasure so that you can have this space so that everybody's happy because I do feel like there are other people involved or you're responsible for other people or the decisions that you make will affect other people. Yeah, the Hierophant is here as well. I don't know if we have a father here or what, you know? But here's this very spiritual energy. It could be your sister who has passed on, maybe your father who has passed on, or, um, okay, they're saying move on. But the King of Swords is someone who is, what? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, they're saying very petite. So someone is very petite. I don't know what that's about, okay? But the King of Swords is not typically petite. I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. Anyway. I feel like you guys have been working really hard to figure something out. This awareness is coming to you. Let me look at these. It's coming to you, perhaps um, an internal, yeah, an internal kind of awakening that you will receive. This could be from, um, you know, maybe a spiritual teacher, leader, counselor, even the King of Swords can be. Um, specifically, like, especially if you are religious, a... Um, I just heard lawyer as well, but what I was going to say is pastor or priest or preacher or the many other forms of the word. Okay. Or a doctor, okay? Like I've been saying here. Somebody needs to go to the doctor. Stop playing. All right, one more. I feel like this is taking too long. I don't know why. It's weird. I think you guys are just like really overwhelmed right now. I feel like you're in this place of like... I don't know how much longer I can take this kind of thing. Also, there's something specific about the kids, okay? I don't know if the children are rambunctious, but I'm getting a really strange and precise message. I'm just gonna give it because this is what we're here for. Um, in regards to these children, it, there's some kind of detachment, like they're either not yours, 
okay? Or they're not somebody else's in the family. Um, or somebody is considering adopting. I don't know. There's some element about that to this story or like what is creating a burden. Maybe somebody is considering taking this on and they're receiving these spiritual messages. Here's the awakening right here. It is going to be made clear where you've been confused. Okay. That's your energy. So whether this is you or somebody else, I don't know. But it is going to be made clear. Okay, very interesting storyline there, Scorpio. That's what I have for you. <laughs> Saggy. What's up, Sassy Sag? Oh, I love it here. Sag, I don't even know what we're going to talk about, but my face is lit up right now, okay? I know you can't see me because I'm hiding today. <laughs> just partially, just cheating a little bit. But anyway... Let's see what's being illuminated for you. I feel like you're in a really good energy or you're going there. I don't know. I like it. I like the energy here. Let's see. What's going on for Saggy, please? What's being illuminated? If you guys uh, skipped my ramble session in the beginning of the reading, that's what we are talking about. Okay. What's being illuminated for you at this time? Ooh, -wee. Empress vibes. So the Empress is the birth of a new life and there's clearly a rebirth here. I mean, maybe there's a literal baby. If so, congrats. Um, judgment energy speaks on rebirth as well. It's literally the birth of a new life. I feel like this is something that someone has been working on though. That was weird, strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. Someone has been and there's that sun energy, the full, like, uh, this is what I'm saying. You guys have been in a beautiful energy of working really hard. Now, whether you've been working really hard on yourselves, working really hard on a project or, um, trying to create something, you've been working really hard, very disciplined, nose to the grind. Is that the saying? I think it is. The sun card is back here. That's the energy that I was feeling at the beginning of this. This beautiful empress energy is someone who... I want to call her enlightened, okay? So maybe this is some kind of awakening that you're having about yourself. I mean, this is self-love, self-care, self-esteem. It's about me and um, how I'm going to grow or grow something, nurturing something into existence. Ooh, I like ye, I like ye. And that literally, you know, the Empress is a beautiful feminine energy whether you are male or female this is a beautiful feminine energy and along with that sun card there's there's fertility here there's growth something is being birthed okay and it's because it has been nurtured or it's being nurtured properly appropriately with uh, um, in beautiful timing but the empress is a beautiful feminine energy of someone who does walk in and light up the room or even if she's not moving or speaking just her presence her essence okay she's the wife okay well let's see what's going on for set maybe some of you are becoming a wife oh i just saw the lover's card let's see what's going on for saggy or you have found a wife getting real religious vibes here um, yeah, and I was getting that at the beginning before my mouth started moving. I feel like whoever this is or there's some element here of like, I don't want to say someone is saving themselves for marriage, but there's just like an, an element of um, morals and protection. <laughs> I just heard of my youth. Okay, so that for somebody, but of my womb. Okay, and, and whether that means your actual womb and there's a baby in there or you want to put a baby in there or the thing that you're trying to birth, okay, because you have to plan it, 
carefully. You have to take care of it. You also have to, have to take care of yourself in order for it to come out and be happy, healthy, and whole, just like you are. So you have to be, you know, match that vibration of the thing that you're trying to nurture. You have to spend time with it. You have to get to know it. You have to feed it and nourish it properly. You have to be patient with it when it's angry or cranky or when it's not working out one day versus the next. Like, that's what the Empress does. She figures that out. So there's something that you're learning. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm just saying, the Empress is a beautiful energy. I could go on and on and on about her all day, okay? All right, what else is here for my Sag, please, since I feel like I'm being rushed, okay? All right, what else is here for Sagittarius? They're referencing Mickey Mouse. I don't know why. Um... I mean, I used to watch it, but I couldn't possibly tell you why or what about. I mean, maybe that's something specific or particular to you. Um, I don't know enough about Mickey Mouse to try to apply that. I, I really, it upsets me when I don't, because um, it would add so much more value. Maybe this is what I need to talk about. It would add so much more value to the conversation, to the reading, more context to what's going on. But I feel like that's sort of the journey that this person has been on. Okay, whether it's you or another person or you're seeing someone in this light, it's like someone has been on the journey of learning something so that they can apply it better. Okay. And whether that's how to properly nurture something or how to better care for themselves, learning their value, learning the value of hard work or um, learning how to be patient. OK, there's something about this that's going on here. Wow. Three of Wands came out. You also have the Ace of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, Sag. So this is the future looks bright. The Three of Wands is someone who has made a definite decision to leave something behind and move forward into something else. I mean, this could definitely be an arrival. Maybe, you know, um, the Empress is moving toward birth. Um, I mean, the, the Ace of Wands is here, which would be that celebration. I do feel that. This is someone who has been working on something and it's like, I'm ready to present my creative thing there could definitely be a baby here side note okay there's the emperor child what and the star card i need y'all to tell me what's going on please tell me down in the comments down below like and i told you the energy here is so beautiful Okay, one more for Sag, because I, I seriously could stay here all day, especially, you know, when I see the Empress and the Emperor show up. One more for Sag. They're referencing, okay, somebody must be having a baby. All these references, now I'm getting like dinosaur references. All right, what else? One more for Sagittarius, please. It's definitely some kind of birth. It's like I've, I've arrived. Yeah, I've arrived. You know, the Four of Wands is like, it's commitment. I'm hearing fairy tale, which I don't really like, but um, it's commitment, it's stability, it's spiritual alignment. It's getting to the place that you've been trying to get to where you feel balanced. And typically we get there with another person because we built it with them. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, literally, okay? This is somebody who has been working really hard, very self-disciplined, self-made, independently owned and operated. They have everything that they need and want. They've worked really hard to be in this successful place, okay? Looking forward to the future, making progress, trying to figure out where they want to settle down at. And here it is, the Empress. Beautiful energy. Nine of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. It's going to take hard work. Wow. All right, Sag, I have to go. But the, I mean, golly. <laughs> That's what I have for you. <sighs> Capricorn. What's up? It's your time to shine, baby doll. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. What's being illuminated for them at this time? For Capricorn, please. What's being illuminated for Capricorn? Okay. Um, I never remember the words to this song, you guys. I need to like, I don't know. How do I do this? <sighs> I 
if teardrops could be bottled. I think that's what she says. And if teardrops could be bottled. Bum, 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 Something like that. Okay, you got me? Thank you. Because I don't know the words. Um, that came out in another reading some time ago, but I do not know the words. Ace of Pentacles. So some of you, I mean, maybe you're going through a rough time right now. You're upset. What are you upset about? The Ace of Pentacles is coming out. Oh, the Ten of Swords is back there. That could be why you're upset. Um, I feel like you guys are tired of something taking too long. Are you going in a new direction? Yeah, something's taking way too long. Showing up a little um, impatient or it's it's unclear of how long it's going to take or something like that. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we see the moon back there. This is also, of course, you guys, this full moon. So, but the Ace of Pentacles is a huge opportunity to be successful, to have long term stability, security. There it is. Ten of Pentacles there. Okay, it's there. It's just like unclear about how am I going to get there with the moon. Um, this is commitment, right? Committing, some, committing yourself. I'm sure committing someone. That's weird. How can you commit someone else? Maybe that's why it's difficult, confusing, and unclear. I mean, people have to commit themselves. You can't like force someone to commit. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, Knight of Wands, Two of Wands. Maybe something's taking too long or somebody's taking too long to commit to you or to, like, stay... <laughs> okay, my mouth wants to say stable, but my brain wants to say sane. So maybe you feel like this person is really confused or literally insane. So they're showing up here. This Knight of Wands, right is somebody you know he, he's he's not the knight of pentacles okay he, he'll probably bring like a bunch of good times and like spontaneous endeavors you know good sex lots of passion he's probably really attractive um but it's not someone who's used to commitment okay it's not because like if, if something else more exciting comes along he's going to be interested so whether this is you or someone else, I guess that's why the Ace of Pentacles is a difficult thing to be offered. <laughs> because it's like, I've never done this before or, you know, I'm not really into that hard work kind of thing. <laughs> All right, what's going on here for Capricorn? What else? What else is being illuminated for them at this time, Spirit? For my Capricorn, how can we help? How can I help you? What? Who's saying that? Who's saying that? Yeah, you guys do think someone is confused or like, I mean, maybe there's an actual literal mental imbalance. Somebody's struggling to let go of control. Yeah, but it's everything that I've just said. This is your energy, by the way. Why are you... I don't know if this is you guys or someone else because I mean Capricorns are people who like to take their time, like to have a practical plan, like to work hard and be successful and all this energy that's showing up. So I don't know if that's, that Knight of Wands is somebody else who you're trying to force to be in your energy or you know maybe this um, message even is for somebody whose North Node is in Capricorn in particular and you're you you know you're being forced to face the hard work that's ahead and you know you're not really interested but the wheel of fortune is um it's destiny it's fate it's going in a new direction there's a need to let go of control here okay there's a lesson in all of this there's karmic lessons for sure karma showing up karma showing up okay this full moon's no joke for you guys. This world card is the end of a cycle. And when we end a cycle, it's because we have, I want to say, taken responsibility. So there's like judgment energy showing up here too. Yeah, Ace of Swords, close, close enough, right? Um, it's when we have learned a lesson, 
okay and we're ready to move forward into i mean a new path for you guys you're seeing it as unclear and difficult or somebody is but there's a need to let go all right let's get one more okay something about a school bus that's weird maybe this has to do with your children or someone is wanting to take a trip somewhere i don't know what that is okay maybe you're on the school bus i don't know one more okay for Capricorn what else mm. what else something about responsibility which is like totally your energy you have two aces and the wheel okay what and there's a five cups people there's the five of cups. Somebody's protecting themselves. This is why they're afraid or why they're... And, you know, that's just it, right? With that Knight of Wands energy. Okay? It's, you know, it's an energy that we all maybe at one time in life are in, but it's not sustainable for, like, long term. And typically or often, it is armor because we're afraid of being hurt or afraid of being bored or um, afraid of the hard work that's ahead, the lessons that are gonna have to be learned, the twists, turns, unexpected things that we can't control and direct. There's something like this that's showing up here. But you have two aces in the wheel. That's beautiful energy of a new beginning. I just feel like somebody needs to allow it to happen. And it's so crazy. It's earth energy and this fire energy here. I don't know if some of you are literally dealing with a fire sign or just someone who is um, very different from you. Very different. Okay. Some of you may have a choice between two people who are showing up in, you know, as earth energy or as fire energy i just feel like you need to trust your gut your crown chakra is very open at this time and um especially with the full moon this is what's being illuminated to you through your crown chakra you just have to be open receptive to seeing through the darkness and specifically through the bullshit okay that's what i have for you Aquarius, <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up, Asla? It's so weird. I was going to say your name, just like you know. I don't know. I, I want. I was gonna say a normal person, but I'm not a normal person. But yeah, so maybe that's where the disconnect came in. But and then I started to say it like that song, Notorious. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's going on for my aqua babies, please. Help them out where they feel unclear. Illuminate what they're unsure of. Give them clarity where they're afraid. This is weird. I don't know why I feel like I need to do like this whole prayer spell chant thing right now. Page of Swords, look at the little baby aqua. <laughs> you guys are very showing up as very curious at this time, trying to fish through the details on the outside, the inside, but it's something new. Like, it's hard, okay? It's really difficult. I do feel like, I want to say you've made contact. What? Made contact with the aliens? I don't know. I feel like you have had some sort of enlightenment, and maybe that's what this why this journey started of let me figure out more you're in this place of being inquisitive about yourself or about someone else yeah the judgment card that's a big leap baby doll the page of swords to the judgment energy that's a pretty big leap i think that there's more that you need to figure out judgment card is about making a big life-changing decision like this is the end and you're showing up in this page of swords energy i think you guys need to be patient with yourselves even if you do feel like it's this huge awakening there's a need to um do more research learn more and the, what the example that i'm wanting to give right now is like when we meet somebody um online or walking down the street or at the um home depot i don't know 
And then, um, you know, there's just this instant attraction and we feel drawn to them. We feel like, you know, I knew you in a past life. You may have known, I want to call them a sucker. Why? You may have known that person in a past life, but how did you know them? Okay. For what purpose are you meeting again in this life? Right. How have they evolved since then? Right. Do you guys still align? <laughs> I'm so weird today. These are the things that you need to figure out. And whether it has to do with a relationship, a job, a place that you want to move to, a business that you want to start, a dog that you want to buy, I don't know. You need to like slow yourself down is what I feel. Okay, yeah. Some of you, you I have found the one whom my soul loves. Is that what it says? All right, Amira. What else is going on here? <laughs> off my rocker today if I'm being quite honest <laughs> but I still love it here hopefully you do too all right what else is here what else is being illuminated for my Aquarius loves I'm hearing Barnes and Nobles yeah you need to do more research on something read more books study more and that's what the page of swords does it's for me it's like <sighs> And this is why it came out as a page of swords because it's like i feel like i feel like you guys want to be in the page of pentacles energy but you need to be in the page of swords now i'll tell you the difference in a second here once we get another card um yeah exactly exactly <laughs> i guess that's why i needed to wait <laughs> because the difference between the page of swords and the page of pentacles is the page of pentacles is investing time effort energy resources totally focused on that thing i'm not going to be distracted by anything else okay and you can't really do that yet until you're fully sure of what you're investing in again whatever this has to do with it could be a job. It could be a, a, a person. Um, I just feel you guys wanting to go all in and um, don't do that. Okay. Plainly put, don't do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Temperance. What is this? All right. I just have to say, right? That this could be someone who, <clears throat> if we're talking about another person, like I said, who you have met or something like that, this could be someone who's not fully divorced or separated or, you know, maybe they're saying they're not in a relationship when they are, okay? There's something about that. It's not for everybody, obvi. Obvi. One more, please. But there's something that you're not seeing clearly, and that's why the moon is illuminating this to you with the Page of Swords. Okay, I need you to take it at face value for face value whatever that saying is that's what wants to come out of my mouth but it's not fully in my head you know you got me all right what else what else tell me more about what's being illuminated please can we can we talk about that what are you what are you telling them what are you telling them <laughs> i'm here every step i take ooh, every move i make um, is that the, who is that? Is that Puff Daddy P Diddy? What's with this? He he's like connected to Biggie. What is going on here? Does somebody like them or something? Um, I miss you every single day, every time I pray, I've been missing you. Somebody tell me why one glad all right <laughs> strength card energy coming out here oh, what is this yeah okay I mean it, it's literally what I've already said but this is like becoming aware that there's some sort of self-restraint that you need to have. And this could be intuitively, right? It's like there's something about them that I really feel drawn to them, but there's also something about them that's telling me 
intuitively that I need to back off or relax or do some more research or like there's some, and it's not to say that they are a liar or not authentic. That's only going to be for a bit of you, that whole marriage relationship thing. It's just a matter of, um, having the self-discipline and self-restraint to take the time and look deeper at whatever this is. Okay. Okay. All right. That's for Aqua. Love you guys. Pisces. What's up, soul family? Let's get a message. What's being illuminated for my Pisces, please, at this time? Hey, Pisces. Hey, what? Don't forget to watch your other placements, okay? I don't know. I didn't say that to anybody else. All right. Something about search. That was weird. I literally saw like the magnifying glass in the search box. Okay. Um, all right. Maybe you're doing some research on something or you're somebody searching for you. What's being illuminated for Pisces, please? Gone with the wind. What is that? Is that a movie or a book? Gone with the wind. All right. What? What's going on? What's being illuminated for Pisces, please? The number two. Uh, why? And five. Why? 25? That's a seven. There's a need to have faith, okay? The seven is about faith, spirituality, inner awareness, and we have the nine of wands coming out. You guys are upset or frustrated about something here, Pisces. And it's interesting, I have to say it. Yeah, Will of Fortune. Because how I'm seeing this, and again, it goes back to that two and that five and that seven. Um, let's back up for a second. The, the number two speaks on choices and decisions it's about duality. Okay, there's a need to make a decision, right? The number five is about changes, chaos, crises, uh, figuring out how to get back to a place of balance, but having to go through some kind of adversity to get there or fight or struggle, okay? Drama even. The number seven, spirituality. Um, I'm hearing fairness, okay? That's not what seven means, but... Um, there's something about fairness here. Maybe you, you have a decision that needs to be made and you need to figure out how to be fair or you feel like something isn't fair in this situation. I also feel like specifically whatever you're working on or need to do or need to persevere through in this situation, spirit is consistently telling you, you need to keep going. You need to keep going. You need to keep going. I'm seeing you like arms crossed pouting saying this isn't fair okay and that's what I was going to say because I feel like in Pisces mind I've been at this so long I've put so much into this I've been hurt time and time again I've been told no time and time again this is taking so long I'm frustrated I don't know if I should keep going in this direction what the hell when in reality, they're saying, mm, no, there's more you can do. Shut your mouth and keep pushing. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Yeah, so you have the Wheel of Fortune back here. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, the World. Beautiful temperance energy back here. Um, there's something that you really, 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 really want, Pisces, but you're the one that's stopping yourself. All right, let's see. Yeah, another nine, nine of cups, also saw the nine of swords. Now, the number nine, why are we having a numerology lesson? I don't know. The number nine is about closure, completion, and um, getting to the end of the battle it's like on the last leg you only got a little bit left to go don't wuss up now why why do we have to talk like this don't wuss up now okay all right <laughs> damn what else because now i'm mad <laughs> y'all know i'm a pisces son because now i'm mad what else is here please <laughs> 
also showing me frogs, okay? Um, playing leapfrog. Maybe you guys feel like you're just unsure. You feel like you're like, I keep, I'm, you know, I've tried this, I've tried this. It's like, <laughs> can like, like Goldilocks, is that, is that the, is that the one? Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Where the, um, with the porridge, too hot, too cold? Like, that's what I'm getting, okay? You feel like you've tried this, that, and the other thing, but, okay, they're both here. Okay. You feel like you've tried this, that, and the other thing, but it's like, I've tried everything. What the hell? You know? So you're frustrated. In this place of frustration. But Spirit is saying you have not tried everything. Okay? Maybe the, this other thing or your uh, um, spiritual strength, if you will, whoa, is coming about and being illuminated um, during the full moon. So you have the Ace of Wands and the Lovers card. This Ace of Wands is essentially the place that you're trying to get to. It's it's like, it's rock bottom. It's the end of the road. It's it's being done with the task, with the lesson, so to speak, okay? This is where you're trying to get to. Lover's card is an unexpected choice in love, and the Ace of Wands comes out of nowhere as well. So there could be a connection that's coming out of nowhere. Maybe you guys are tired of trying relationship after relationship and not actually getting your soulmate or getting a soulmate or getting someone who actually aligns with you, their values, their morals, their ethics. There's no harmony in the relationship. The sex is bad. The attraction action isn't there they don't have the values the, the 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 love the expression maybe they're not emotionally available as well with this eight of cups king of cups something's kind of something something's creeping in though pisces and spirit is saying hush up it's coming okay this is your message <laughs> literally literally i just spoke about the king of cups actually um this was the card that came out for instagram um, I don't know when you guys are watching this, but, um, also don't know what today, what day it is today. Maybe it's July 13th. Yeah. July 13th. Cause it's the full moon. Okay. So if you're not following me on Instagram, check that out. Cause I spoke about the King of Cups, um, in the upright position, which would be him who is emotionally available. I also heard responsive. Now listen, Pisces, this is also your energy. So whether this is you, maybe you're not emotionally available at this time or you've gone through so much and you feel run down emotionally and it's draining you or you need to disconnect from um, the world or people or a specific relationship right now so that you can find what it is that you want. There is some kind of journey that you're on right now and it has to do with learning a lesson. I just feel like you guys need to keep pushing. You will have some Something that it becomes or illuminated or someone that becomes illuminated during this time that is essentially going to make your efforts worthwhile okay that's what's here for you beautiful message all right guys this is what i have good luck to all of you